in horsemanship today. I've got my good friend Josh Wallace here. He's our equine dentist and he's going to show us a little bit about why it's important to get your horse's teeth floated and uh, some of the problems that you can alleviate when you do that. Well thanks Mark. The biggest things that I would emphasize uh, when we look at this skull I cut the bones away so that you can see how big the horse's teeth actually are. Uh, most people don't realize they have that many teeth and they don't understand how large they are. They grow and develop to a full mature size and then they erupt into their mouth over their lifetime. And they're growing and developing and erupting at a rate that would keep up with them being outside grazing all the time. Obviously we bring them into our environment, they're not going to graze all the time. So we have to balance their mouth for them at least once a year. Most performance horses we're doing them every six months, especially when they're in training or being you know used for competition and stuff like that. Uh, when we start talking about balancing they have to be balanced from their incisors all the way through their TMJ joint, which is right here. So that includes all of these teeth and their incisors. So the two biggest things we want is when a horse chews, they have to chew laterally side to side. When they ride and they bend and flex, their jaw has to move freely side to side. So they have to have good lateral movement of their jaw. And when they raise and lower their head, their jaw slides front to back. So as they raise their head, it slides back. When they drop their nose down, it slides forward. We ask them to flex at the pole, get collected. Obviously, that jaw has to move freely front to back. Same thing when they're eating. When they raise their head and lower their head, they have to be able to do the same thing. So we have to balance it completely from their incisors all the way through the back. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this little bitty tooth right here in the front, that's a wolf tooth. We always extract those. That, that's something that has to come out. It'll cause nothing but problems when you ride your horse. So we always want to take that part out too. And at least once a year, preferably twice a year, get them checked by somebody qualified that really knows how to balance everything through the whole mouth. Thanks, Josh. You know, it's, it's, uh, we've seen a big change when before, you know, they weren't really that bad before. You know, they're, they're right around okay, but boy, you get their teeth done and man, they just get a little bit softer, a little bit nicer. They're, they're just... Just a little bit more comfortable. more comfortable, right? Yeah, that's the deal. Right, yeah, they've got to be comfortable. They've got to be comfortable doing their job. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we don't realize how far back their jaw goes. You know, we kind of think in human terms, and you know, I open my mouth and you can see the, the back molar pretty easy. And in a horse, you know, it goes way back there. And so we kind of think, oh, their horse's teeth, you know, about right in front. And we don't realize how much can be out of balance or out of whack. You know, and, back back where we can't see it. And the closer, the the further back you go, the greater the pressure. Right. So your last tooth is directly underneath the horse's eye. Okay, this is the eye socket. Right. So your last tooth will be directly underneath the eye. Yeah. There's a massive amount of pressure back here. If that's not balanced correctly, a horse will just completely go off feed, go riding bad. They'll have all kinds of trouble. Right. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for all your help. Thank you. You guys get your horse's teeth checked. It's, it's spring. Some of you guys have, have let them off for the winter, and so now it's kind of getting back into riding. So, you know, do a little, do a little preventative maintenance, get your horse's teeth checked, and, and be ready for this upcoming upcoming season of, of riding and hope this helps you hope this helps you and the relationship with you and your horse